I thought y'all said Deion Sanders is done with. I thought y'all said he had the worst offseason in the world. We seen the negative reports. Y'all said Primetime had the worst offseason in the world, man. How about that Las Vegas, Nevada linebacker product? Four-star, who really should be five-star, but because he plays in Nevada, you know how the ranking system do. They favoritism with who they like and based on the schools they got ties with. But Christian Thatcher, bruh. Four-star linebacker for the class of 2025. He's already been visiting Boulder. He's already been going to Colorado. But he said it, man. The relationship that these linebackers got with Andre Hart, you know, the linebackers coach, it, it's just, it's cool, bro. Because Christian came out the woodwork to let people know, bro, I got family that's in Centennial area, the Centennial State. He got folks he could ties with. But what made him want to be vocal about this whole thing was Andre Hart. He said the coach makes plays players want to be next to him makes players just want to ride you feel me and then it's the commodity uh i can't i can't even pronounce it correctly bro but how everybody got together and was cool with one another he said he was it was too trill bro he got to see a level of team and unity that he needs it for the type of player he wants to be he wants to work with like skillful coaches bro i'm gonna go fast forward towards it through more of that he was looking at his situation as far as the schools he's looking into. And I guess it would be best for a young player like that. No disrespect to Boulder. I love y'all. But I like the players winning first. I'm all for Dion. I'm all for Colorado. But I want young men to win first. And with Christian Thatcher, I think it's smart for him to look all the way around. Because he's one of those ones, when you watch his highlight tapes, he has quick instincts. And then you don't know if he's like a ball hawk, meaning that they can actually convert the big stud into being a strong safety, bro. I'm not going to go far and fetch and say he could play free safety, but he for damn sure could be a strong safety. He's going to be one of them outside linebackers that can either play on the inside or outside and cover any of your, forget about a tied in. That's cliche. That's too outdated of thinking as a coach, like what linebacker we can put on this tied in. No, you got to look out for them slot receivers, man. These these Hopkins of the world, these young Hopkins coming into the NFL. You didn't see this draft that just came? At least four receivers are going to wear gold jackets after the next 11 years or more. You will see that by their work. Remember what I said. The four re uh, receivers, everybody talking about the quarterbacks who got drafted, you know, in this year's draft. But I'm telling you, the four receivers who just got picked up, of course, starting with Harrison. But Harrison ain't even the main guy that I'm looking into as going to be the dog. But, man, it, it is absolutely a wonderful time to love the NFL because I love college football more. You know, it's something wonderful about college football. But even with the NIL and money getting into college football, it's still undefeated. But the NFL having these new players is giving life into a situation I thought was abysmal. I thought it was gone to the zombie land. And now you're seeing players with the skill set and all these tournaments, these elite 11s, all these seven on seven drills, these players are more far skilled than a lot of the dogs in previous years. I'm not saying they're better players, but skill wise, oh man, that's a coach's dreams when you don't have to teach the player their actual position. All you have to cheat, uh, uh, ch uh, teach them is the cheat codes. You know how to actually get around your player using this instead of that. It, it, it gets easy when the foundation is already there, but let me fast forward. So. Paying attention to the whole outcome of Christian Thatcher and looking at his outcome, he would be playing on Sundays as well. It's a guarantee. Even if he don't go to Colorado, remember that name, Christian Thatcher, bro. Like, he, he's one of them, I'm going to say he's cut from the same class like a, a, a Ray Lewis. He may not be up to par with what Ray Lewis came out the gate. But, man, Christian has the same instincts of a Ray Lewis. Forget about who hits hard and that type of nastiness. I'm not going to say he has all that. But you don't need to have all that in today's football. You just got to have that dog in you. But what's better than having a dog? Having the IQ. IQ trumps everything. You feel me? I'm going to just be honest with you. I, I'm, a dog allows you to take the punishment and it allows you to keep going. But without the IQ, you're just a pretty car with no engine out there. It's a waste. You feel me? So to see Trist, I mean, uh, Christian uh, um, provide these details that wasn't forced by none of the coaches telling him, it tells you that he truly in his heart believes this is the university for him. I, I'm going to say it now. 
I have high hopes that he will be choosing Boulder, not only because of centennial situations of family that he has over there, but also because just watching the way he is, bro, and the way he describes Andre Hart, it's like, bro, I think these players, no disrespect to head coaches like Dion, when they go to their teams and their university of choice, like if you're a quarterback, you want to have a great relationship with your quarterback coach, even more said so than the actual head coach. When you look at a running back, same thing. You want a running back that knows what you're going through. So even if I don't start, he knows mentally what I'm dealing with, the hunger pains of not having food, the breakup with girlfriends, trying to compete against running running back three, running back uh, two, and running back one, this coach would know all that, just like the dogs in the trenches of the offensive line or the, the defensive line coaches. Like, you want to have an established relationship even prior going to that university. And with these players coming from high school, this is what Coach Prime is telling you guys. He likes going to these players' home, and he likes them visiting him with their families. Let's not, you know, forget that part, because most coaches – in the power five and power six, they enjoy recruits not having a mentor or elders around them. That way they can finesse that student and tell them anything, get them to sign in anything they want, like a car salesman. But Prime wants to see the whole family. He wants to either go to you with your family or you come to him with your family so he can evaluate what type of upbringing you got because it does matter. No disrespect to Cormani McLean, but that's more evident than I need to say. It does matter what type of family background you got, bro. And if you don't have any family that ha that, are, that are role models, you at least have to have some type of great person around you, even if it was a homeless person in the street, some type of mentor, some type of person that gave you the traits to be a good character human being out here. And I think that's the problem with society right now. Character traits are not being implemented in the upbringing of these young people anymore. So so now they feel they can be anything they want to be. They can do anything they want to do. And the disrespect is at an all time high right now. You know what I mean? So Christian Thatcher, to see him elevate the elders around him and also speak beautifully about future teammates who, who he didn't even commit to yet. Bro, man, that, that's something I need on my team. You know, I, I ain't going to lie, man. If he doesn't pick Colorado, I'd rather him pick Florida Gators. No, nah, don't pick Florida Gators. I love Florida Gators. But I said, I said, I'm not, I'm not going to, um, I don't, I'm not going to root against them. I never root against my teams, but I'm not about to be going out my way, lying to recruits. The only way I'm going to hype up Florida Gators again, if they remove the athletic director and they remove all the coaching staffs over there. Facts. They need to just change everything because you did a mistake by hiring Billy Napier. He's a bum coach who gets on his knees from any player that'll do the university wrong. Yo, you can say what you want about Coach Prime. You'll never see Coach Prime get on his knees and begging a player to come to that university. Like, what the hell? How can they respect you as a coach, bro? One respect I got for my drill sergeants, not just my first sergeants and my captain, you feel me? But my drill sergeants where it started at in boot camp, basic training, bro. Like, ain't nobody was trying to be your friend, bro. They even, this is in basic training when they could have put hands on you. We didn't snitch and tell on them, bro. Like, they damn sure put me in a room and put some lumps in my head, bro. But I deserved it. Coming up there, I was young, young teenager, thinking, you can't talk to me like that. I'm trying to have my ways. They squared me away real quick, and I thank them for that. It's that mentality that done got, got rid of a lot of you young dudes at a young age and got your mama wearing a black dress in church talking about, not my baby. He didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. You feel me? My baby innocent. No, your baby was a menace to society, man. Your, 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 your folks couldn't handle his emotions. He had your emotions instead of his father's emotion. That is if his father is a man, a man's man at that. But nonetheless, man, Christian Thatcher, man, outstanding, man. Regardless of where you decide to go through, every time I research and I learn about you young gentlemen, bro, I'm, I'm happy to know some young people out here still carry their core values. You feel me? And essential to what I'm basically talking about is just important. The respect factor. The respect factor when a young man comes with it, bro, that means there's somebody willing and able to be coached. I'm not saying, well, I am saying Christian is going to be playing on Sundays, but this goes for the players, too, who are not so talented like a, Trist, uh, a Christian Thatcher. It could be somebody who just want to be part of a team. It can teach you some type of values and help you with your other 
you know, other transition in life, bro. Some of y'all might become insurance salesmen, plumbers or whatever. You know, this will give you guidance on how to carry yourself as a human being, bro. And shout out to his parents, his mom and dad, whoever gave this young man the values that I see. Much blessing to the parents of, of Christian Thatcher. And, and if he comes to Boulder, oh my God, man. Let the haters come, bro. Like one thing, regardless of these dudes come to Colorado or not, they feel the vibes, bro. Your favorite football player, football player, all got dreams, or at least to go see what this taste of Colorado snow is, bro. And we ain't talking snow bunnies. Don't let that go over your head. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm DJ Blessed, one of the best one. Love your family, love your kids, and for eternity, stay blessed, gang. Until the next video, peace.